everybody, it's Dr. Joe, and it's product review time again. The folks at Thin Mattress sent me a queen mattress to try out, and yes, it came in a box. Let's get started. Disclaimer alert, disclaimer alert. So let's do some unboxing. So let me tell you some awesomeness about this bed. The first thing right from the beginning is it shipped really fast. It says seven to 10 business days. Ours came like within a week, less than a week. So that, that's really nice because if you need a new bed, you want it to come fast. The second thing is once we open it up, there's no chemical smell. And I've had beds before where you bring them in and you have to air them out sometimes like a week or so because it just has that weird smell to it. This hardly any smell at all. So you can sleep on it right away. What's also really nice about the mattress is it's free shipping to come to you. You also can return it for free if you decide you don't like it, but you have a hundred days to try it and you're gonna like it. It's really nice. It also has a 10 year warranty, which is very nice because with beds, probably by then you wanna get a new one anyway. So you've got that 10 year warranty. This is the Thin 14, which is 14 inches of awesomeness. It is really nice because it has three different layers. The top layer is a two inch latex medium firm foam, which also has air holes in it that allows it to be breathable and really nice. Then there's three inches of a premium memory foam, which is gel infused. And that's what gives that cool support to the bed and makes it nice and cool for you. And then there's nine inches on the bottom of a high density support foam. So it gives you a lot of support while you sleep. With all this 14 inches of support, it's great for your back. So it supports the back and it makes it feel comfortable. So you don't have a whole lot of pain when you're getting up in the mornings. What I like about this one versus just a memory foam is that latex foam on top allows you to kind of be bouncy on top so it's not where you sink right in and you feel like you can't move and you're stuck in one spot that it gives that bounce back of like a normal bed but as you lay on a little while it does kind of mold into you a little bit to support everything so that's really nice but then you don't get sunk all the way in and feel like you can't move or turn or anything so one of the things that I want to show you is being able to wake up happy. A lot of times you can do some stretches and exercises even before you get out of bed. So you feel good, feel loosened up as you go. A lot of people ask me some of the exercises and stretches that I do in the videos. Can you do them in the bed? Cause I can't get on the floor, things like that. Definitely do them on the bed. This is a great place to do it. So just lying down. When you're nice and comfortable and you first wake up in the morning, if you can bring your knees up, kind of prop them up, just start off with a little bit of a bridge. So you don't have to go all the way up in the morning. You're just coming up a little bit to start getting that back moving some. So this one, you don't have to come flying up to that straight like you do a lot of times with the bridge, just nice and controlled, bringing the hips off the ground a little bit or off the bed, I should say, and then coming back down. Just, just about 10 to kind of get that back moving. And then still keeping those knees propped up, just rotate them from side to side. So now you're gonna get a little rotational movement. You don't necessarily have to hold the stretch. You're just gonna rotate side to side, maybe five times on each side to get everything loosened up. And then bring your knee up into a single knee to chest. Some people like to grab on top. I like to grab underneath the knee, especially if you have knee issues so you're not putting any extra pressure on there. Just pull it up towards your chest, hold it for about 30 seconds, come back down, grab the other side, and then do three of those on each side. So just those three little stretches and exercises should be enough to get your back moving really nice and get you going so you don't have a sore back when you first get up. And then, if you have back issues, you want to do that nice log roll to get out of bed, which is if you start on your back, your knees are up, you pull them up, roll over to your side, come to the edge a little bit, and you're going to drop your legs off the ground and then take your top arm and your bottom elbow and push up. So then it's just going to be one quick little motion like that. So you don't have to stress your back out when you're getting up. 
So there you have it. As you can see, the doggies love it too. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. If you'd like to find out more about the product, go to whatsintoday.com. If you'd like to purchase the product, go to askdrjoe.com slash finmattress. And remember, be safe, no biting, have fun, and I hope you feel better soon.